Good afternoon. Well, today we're sitting just outside the Mount Rainier National Park on some national forest land. We've got a nice river out here. It's kind of a great spot. And it seems like the perfect place to start a little mini series I'm going to add to this channel. And I think for now I'm just going to call it Van Life Basics because that's what I'm trying to cover. Some of the basics of this van life thing. I get questions all the time that tend to be fairly repetitive so with this little series I'm hoping to answer some of those questions without just repeating myself all the time. Today we're going to start with how we built a basic water system in this van. I will put a list of all the parts and pieces we use to do this in the video description down below so if you're interested in it check it out. In some of the upcoming videos I want to cover our electrical system, how our shower compartment works, folding bed, bike racks, stuff that makes this lifestyle easier and more comfortable. Basics. If there's any specific topics you're hoping for, write them down in the comments. I'll do my best. We'll see how this goes. But I think more importantly than just showing you how we do stuff is maybe telling you why we did it and uh, how it's working out long term. And hopefully that'll help some of you if you're building a van for yourself and hope to get out traveling willy-nilly like we do. So I think um, let's get started. So really this system is basic by design. It's two water jugs, a foot powered water pump, a spigot, some hoses, some clamps, and a couple of quick connect fittings. It's as easy as it gets. So this is the basics of the system. We've got two jerry jugs, the blue one's fresh water, and the grayer one is obviously gray water. This is just a quick connect fitting which makes swapping tanks quick and easy. I'll show you the innards of the suction tube in a second. But this hose goes straight down to the foot powered water pump. The other hose goes from the pump back to the back of the sink to the fresh water spigot. For the gray water, this is just a basic RV drain attached to the bottom of the sink, which drains straight down the hose into the gray water tank. This is the suction tube in the fresh water tank. It's made from a quarter inch PEX tubing, a standard PEX fitting, which the hose gets inserted and snaps into place. And on the top end, there's a stainless steel quick connect fitting. The round disc that's in between the two fittings is made from the cap that comes on one of these tanks as standard. We just drilled the hole in the cap, inserted the fitting through it, and tightened the two fittings together. And then this whole apparatus just gets dropped into the tank, cap gets put on top, quick connect fitting on there. If you are gonna build a system using these exact same parts, the cut length for the PEX tubing is 20 and a quarter inches. That gives you enough length to reach the bottom of the tank and enough to insert into the fitting. This back here is just a strap to hold these in place if we're bouncing down some rough roads. So when we run out of water, all we gotta do is release the strap, release the fitting, and this whole tank just comes right out. Then to swap out an empty jug for a full jug of water, it's as easy as removing the suction tube out of the empty jug, going around to the back of the van to grab a full fresh jug of water, then throwing the fresh jug of water under the sink and reinserting the suction tube. As easy as that, and we're back in business. The gray water is kind of the same concept. When it's full, just unthread that. Out that comes, remove the tank, and we can dispose of it wherever we need to. For us using these jerry can jugs versus a built-in water tank, there's really one big reason for that. We spend most of our time out in the boonies where we don't have access to a hose where we can just plug it into the tank and fill it up. Most of our water is got from either forest service spigots where it's really just a spigot, or in a lot of areas, especially in the desert southwest of the United States, there's water kiosks in grocery stores and in gas station parking lots, the oddest of places, you can get water, but you can only get it by the jug. So for us, these jerry cans were the way to do it. Each one of these jugs lasts us about two days with general use. It uh, obviously goes up and down depending on how much water we're drinking. If it's a really hot area, we're gonna burn through more water. Uh, depending on what we're cooking, how many dishes we're doing, 
all that stuff kind of makes sense. But uh, generally two days is what we kind of assume out of a jug, sometimes more, sometimes less. We carry five full jugs on board, so we can really go between 10 days and two weeks with what we carry. We've carried seven at times if we knew we were gonna be in some remote areas where access to water was gonna be tough and we didn't wanna race in and out just looking for water. So I think the last thing we should mention is just how this has worked out for us in general as we're using the van on a day-to-day -day basis. Really, I couldn't think of a better system for us because we like to be out in the boonies, far from goods and services and far from people. We like mother nature, what can I say? For us, using a foot pump versus an electric pump made a lot of sense. One, there's zero power draw. And two, these foot pumps are super reliable. We come from the world of sailing. And if there's one thing sailing has taught me, things go wrong when you're farthest from land and farthest from goods and services. We've seen them on boats, well, for the entire 25 years I've lived on them, they've been there without any need for any sort of maintenance, really. They're kind of foolproof. So this kind of solves a lot of problems for us. But for you, you gotta kind of figure out how you're gonna use the van and then build it from there. So I kind of think that's about it. It's basic, that's the point. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. The majority of our time is spent out in the boonies away from cell phone service and internet access. So maybe a while, but I'll do my best. And uh, like I said before, if there's topics you're hoping to have covered, leave them down there as well, and we'll see what we can do. Subscribe to the channel if you like. There's no commitment, it's just a click. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.